Hi everyone, Kim here with Sunshine Creations and Crafts. Um, tomorrow is my uh, girlfriend's birthday. Another birthday that I completely forgot about. Um, lots of birthdays to remember. I need to start writing them down. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I noticed on YouTube that there's been a lot of um, videos on this paper bag card. Now, I don't know if they've been around for a long time and I just have, you know, I'm late in the game or what it is, but I thought I'd go ahead and try that for her card. Now, I watched several of them and, and everybody has their own technique and so I'm kind of combining techniques that I've seen. So we'll just get started and, and see how this all turns out. Now, you want to make it so that it's as close to an A2 size card as you can. However, this, um, this bag is just a little bit over, well, it's four and three quarters, which makes it difficult to fit in an A2 size envelope, and this is five and a half. So you really can't cut down the size here. However, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to use my envelope maker and see if I can come up with something. Okay, so I've gone ahead, gone ahead and made my little mark there. I'll set my trimmer right above that. Line that up. And then that's my paper bag card. Now I did cut some pieces and did some things ahead of time, but then other stuff I did not. So this here is going to be, I can go ahead and put the measurements um, on here as I process the video too. Um, that is three inches by four and three quarters and a little bit. We'll just call it a little bit. Whoops. I do want to try to get this right on the edge because I don't want it sticking up at all. Move this out of the way so I don't end up getting glue and stuff on it. There is one thing that I noticed, um, one of the videos that I watched, what they did was they took their, um, their, uh, gosh, bone folder, and they pressed out all of the folds and stuff. Uh, but at this point, I, I don't know if that's necessary, so try to get that lined up. I can always trim it if I need to. Okay, and then I'm going to put this in here like so got some glue on my paper here it's going to make it sticky and let me see what the measurements okay obviously four and three quarters and some and then this would be um four and three quarters so four and I don't know about that. I have to check when I put the video up. I'll make sure all the measurements are right. Gosh, what am I doing? Okay, I'm going to put that in there. Now, I'm actually going to make um, this into a gift card holder. So the one thing I want to do, and I'm pushing this all the way down in, and just a reminder, this is the first time I've done this. So um, back to my thought. What I want to do is I want to tape down the sides here with my score tape. I guess I could use glue, but I'm going to use score tape. And, you know, I just had a thought also. I want to cut a piece that will cover the back side, I think. I'm thinking that's what I want to do. Okay, and that's where her little gift card is going to go. Okay, let's go ahead and put on the embellishments. These are all recollect recollection embellishment embellishments. And I'm going to put... You can use glue dots or Tombow glue works well. this guy up here and it's okay that it goes a little bit over. 
keep reaching for my glue, but I know that the score tape works better. It certainly doesn't have to dry, does it? Okay, there's that. I'm going to put that one there. Our tape is not working on that one. So we'll just make sure that we remember that there is a flower here that is glued so we don't it doesn't lift up. And now that I've got the glue out, I'm just gonna finish it like that. Put that there. And then the striped butterfly. Great. Okay. Now I have a sentiment, and this is sort of part of the whole thing. It's birthday. You'll see what I'm going to do here in a second. Make sure I get the edges. Yeah, I'm going to put that right there. Oops. All right. So over here. I'm going to put this strip like this, which will require some score tape. This um, ribbon, it frays real easily. Let me just show you what it is here. It's a Michaels brand, and it's really cute actually. The color matched up pretty well. I was having problems when I was, you know, finding paper and stuff. I was having problems matching up the colors. I have a lot of really bright yellows, um, and this one's a real soft yellow in here. So, all right, so let's put that like this. Okay, I was looking through mycutsearch.com, and I was trying to find a banner that cut out letters and believe it or not it came from country life now um there was a lot more to uh also that was on my cut search but i actually didn't have those cartridges so i'm using country life and i cut this out at um, an inch and a quarter so i did the base of it in black and then i'm going to use my tweezers here and then i cut the top layer in yellow I have to tell you, this the idea alone of this paper bag card is just so cute. And I'm not going to put those down yet. I have to think about what's the best way to... I'm going to pull all these over here. Um, adhere these down. I I'm, probably will do pop dots on the top and on the bottom. Okay, that's better. Yeah, I was shocked when I was looking through, trying to find the banners with the letters. I thought Country Life. I was thinking maybe it would be celebrations or something like that, because that's more related to birthday, but I'm okay with this. You know, I found that because I have um, about 75 cartridges, I forget what I have and I forget what's on them. So sometimes, you know, in the evenings, maybe once a week or so, I will grab my box of cartridges and or actually the manuals and just sit down and start glancing through them um, you know just come re familiarize myself with them again and sometimes I take little notes that I think oh I didn't know this had cards on it or um, you know something like that and and then I know I need to make a quick card I can also I'll go back and refer to my notes on that um, Oh, goodness, my Y is missing. Okay. Well, I will have to put the Y on after I'm done with this. All right, let's go ahead and use our pop dots for this. I'm going to use some little ones here. Yeah, 
these little square ones will do. I might even cut these in half. I did a big no-no and I used my cutter bees um, scissors to cut a little piece of wire not thinking but anyway I ruined them so I had to go buy another pair um, and they're super sharp which is good but I keep forgetting and get back to my sticky here um, I keep poking myself with them okay this is kind of ending up cumbersome so There we go. Yeah, I think the pop dots would be the best. My Y will show up. We have a joke when we go scrapbooking because we'll cut letters with our Cricut and then we'll go to put it on our layout or whatever and it's like the letters are suddenly missing and we'll say they went into the scrapbook black hole and all of us are like on the floor looking for the letter and we just can never find it so we end up having to get another one I don't know if you guys experience that same thing but it's actually quite funny and then we end up finding it you know in the trash can or sit in our you know it's in our lap or something goofy like that like how did that get in the trash can I am just not doing well with these pop dots right now, am I? I guess because they're an odd size. Little. They're little, huh? That's not going to stick. Oh my goodness, I'm getting crazy frustrated with this. I'm going to pick the circle ones here. I've got these little tiny ones that would do just fine. Make my life easy. Come on, Cam. There we go. Look at that. Gosh. Well, this one's a little bit thicker than that square one. So I'll have to... Nope, can't tell. Okay, good. Now we can speed this up a little bit, right? Um, if you're, if this is the first time you've ever seen one of these cards, you have to go onto YouTube and see. They had um, a swap of... Uh, that uh, I can't remember who it was, but oh my gosh, these paperback cards were just so beautiful. There was some shabby chic, and they were vintage. Um, you know, really bright, pretty, colorful ones. And I thought, yeah, I'm going to do that one for my girly friend. The fun part about it is really any paper and any embellishments it just because the idea is just so cute I'll go ahead and put this one with the missing Y on it so we can partially finish it the missing Y why is it missing Okay, there was one thing that I wanted to do, an extra little thing here, just to give a little bit more color. I'm going to use my Martha Stewart Leaf Punch, and I'm going to put a couple of leaves in there. This is just a scrap piece of green paper. It's got some green in it. I just kind of wanted to bring that out at the card. Add a little bit to it. So let's quickly do the tag. Um, it is smaller than the bag size, but that's okay. What I'm going to do is, again, I pulled out a Martha Stewart punch. 
And I like to flip it over so I can see it. This cardstock's really thick. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Hmm. Nope. Okay, let's turn that off. That cardstock's too thick. I noticed that with the Martha Stewart punches. You've got to use it than a cardstock. So we'll set that idea aside. I'll figure something else. And go ahead and get my um, punch here because I want to put some ribbon in it. Get that as even as I can. And we'll put some yarn, some yarn, some ribbon through this. Let's make that a little bigger. I do have a bigger punch. I just have it in an inconvenient place right now. So we'll use that one and do it a couple times. And I'm using a black, a gray, and a yellow ribbon. And what this tag does is it slips down inside the bag and um, you use it to write your happy birthday sentiment on it. Or if you have a stamp or you want to add more flowers, you can do that too. I was going to attempt to pull all three of them through at the same time, but looking at the size of that hole, I don't think it's going to happen. So I'm doing one at a time. Very nice. Now let's tie a little knot. And I haven't decided yet. I was thinking about rounding the corners a little bit. But since most of the card shape is square, I might just go ahead and leave it. Okay, get that up there like that. And then this actually goes inside here. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, this is such a cute idea. And I'm not sure why it's not going all the way in. It's too long. Let's go ahead and slice that a little bit. That I could have measured ahead of time. So it looks like the tag is going to end up being about four and three quarters. Maybe four and a half. Let's see how that goes in. You want it to stick out a little bit. That's nice. Now you can also um, tape the inside of the bag here so that it doesn't flap open. Um, but that's about it. I'm going to put the gift card right in here. Is that so cute? I love this. My gosh. Um, anybody have suggestions or um, you know comments that'll help with this uh, for the next time? Because I'm definitely making more of these. Just let me know, and I'm going to go search for the why. Okay, thanks so much for watching.